story. You would have more accept my appreciate them glory. <laughs> Real. We smile, we ball, we rise. Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today your girl Curry have a story for you guys. Yes guys. I tell about one story when I was growing up. You know, because I grew up in the ghetto, like ghetto, ghetto. Zimmer. But before you guys get down into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tell a friend to tell a friend about life with Kurgadas. May I wait? Can we do that already? Alright, let's get into the video. So, yes, people. So when my dad grew up, right, I'ma just start high school. Which part we didn't live? Cause we live from the ghetto when we were like 13, 14. No, 14. I was 14. So the school bus used to have to pass around which part we live. And when my tell us said the the old stem did all 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 like all the fence them did like then my you know a bitchy bitchy fence them that was how it was like them all bitch up fence let me tell you say the ghetto 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 so yes people the bus used to pass through the, the ghetto which family live they have to pass through there and you have a big white horse live you have a big white horse up top side top side and then one next horse close by so people me never stop out which family live you know because it's a shame i wish for me live you know so i'm gonna do mother either stop off at the shops they not get me stuff off which part me live either i stop off at the shop I'm going to stop off at the big white house and then I have to walk. Is it I have to walk go down to my yard and I have to walk come up to my yard? You know, sometimes we go all the way down town and then walk, come back home, up. Just to make people know which part me live. So, anyway, I have this one picnic where I live with a friend. A good friend, you know, good, good friend. So, anyway, I come on our yard and say, Can I know where I say a friend? You need to hide from your friend, but the rest of pity them, you know, and they know where you live. Because I got trouble and laugh after you say, you live in a whole house, which we not suffer now nothing. You see me? And it's not where you come from, where you're from, is where you're going. But we as little lagger head pit me. <laughs> we not think about them something there. You know, because we lagger head and they worry about what people are going to say. You understand? And not know what the future will. You see me? So, my friend, we go tell the friend which part we live and he go come over the yard. Now, just us. The people run go back to school. Run go back to school. We tell everybody which part we live. So, anyway, I have this one girl. She had a good friend, you know. She come from around there too, you know. Because she don't want to look bad, you know what the girl do. <laughs> well, we are the kids, you know. You know what she do? She go tell the people them say the people them say, Oh, me live over the yard which part of shop there and they used to call me Paka. You know? Or they used to say fine vice. Come to talk, speak your vice or so you know? And them say She tell the whole of them say, Oh, I she live over the whole house and and me and me live over there so with the shop there. So people don't say trouble me you now. Trouble me, trouble me, trouble me. Me, but never yet accept it one day, one day, one day. Say, I over there, me live. Accept what? My afraid for shop, me live. Me never accept it. Me still come off down the side, come off out the side. So I'm a stop because the alleys have the look of guys in panic corner. So I'm a and, and chat up with them and sitting till the bus gone. And when the bus turn the corner, me up and go over my yard. You can't see me. But the moral of this story is, guys, 
because me know it have younger kids um maybe watch this or it might have people in a certain situation more on this be a learning lesson to uno you understand and this is not because me depend on youtube or whatever you know it's not where you are from it's where you are going you understand me growing up in a ghetto enough people because me so love dance up dance up i still love to dance a lot of people used to say oh she she not come out to nothing same people used to say me not come out to nothing me live for them and breed up and breed up and breed up and breed up you understand and the same place in a ghetto even now You understand? I'm not putting my mouth down on anybody, but I'm going to show you an example. Sometimes people pass their mouth on other people's kids. You understand? Not because I might love dance, because I love music, doesn't mean I now come to not good. Me might love dance. Your son might love play football. And that me love for do. You understand? Some people them wash their mouth and people kids. That's why you see a lot of people. These older people you see them have them kids. I wonder them I wonder, Lord Jesus, why my why my daughter not as progressive as 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 the person the daughter. But it's because of some of Uno. Uno evil wicked people. You understand? Uno wash Uno mouth from people kids. Yes, on wash them out from people kids and talk on people kids and say this in the ghetto growing up in the ghetto, you know. If if some of them see you, they talk to one of the local boy, them we come from there, like us, even stand up and talk to them. You understand? And nobody's on them about no age group you now, no kids or something. You hear say. Curry did they a corner. They never used to call me Curry, but I'm just using my name as an example. Curry did they so talk up to whatever, whatever, whatever. A man she want already. That's not going to say, you know, we are just kids. You understand? We are just kids. So some of you all keep putting your mouth on people, kids, and then no wonder why you know, your own child come up. You understand? And as them just say, we Jamaican just say, turn workless are good for nothing. It's because of some of we. You understand these things that we do. You understand? We put them out for other people. We try to bring down other people, kids. You see me? As me telling us so when me living at the ghetto, I used to afraid for where I would I, 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 I used to be afraid. You see me? Despite the fact say we didn't have everything for comfort. We was the first to have cable in the ghetto we come from. We have cable, TV, fridge, everything. People used to come I still one I tell my mother all I sell ice and thing. People used to come and use my mother house phone. They have this lady remember she used to come every time she want a phone call. She used to come and then when the phone when the way name there, my mother is lady giveaway, you know. And then when if, when she know the phone bill for you, you don't see her, she not come. I mean I used to tell my mother say Sorry about that guys, my beyond. I don't know used to tell my mother say Oh, when the bill come, we're gonna pay. We go help you know, help you pay for the bill. Pay for what? You don't see them. Until them know say so put them back. Then come back. Come remember say my father in the States. You understand? So we have to have our phone to talk to him pan. Because before we have the house phone, you used to have this thing. We don't know if you remember the call booth them. The phone booth. This is the phone booth. If you don't remember the phone booth. You understand guys? We used to have to get the world I think it, they call it world talk cards. The world talk cards. We used to have to get them cards there. And we used to go out there and we used to call him and we used to stand up today and he would call me back. He call back the same number right at the phone booth. When I remember them days eh? Me used to do them something there. You understand? I remember my mother was the only female working which mama come from she was the only person 
working and then they have this lady who have our store she didn't have a store right and my mother the only person to work you see me my mother the only person to work and when me tell you say me no know how them the woman they survive first time days but they make sure them kids got school and everything i don't know how them is to survive you understand but picnic i go to school school time everything everything i got together you see me so we didn't have everything we have cable i remember when this movie name shutters come out them come my mother and then borrow our tv and we didn't have a veranda in Trinidad, they call it gallery. So if you have a Trinidad fan, they say gallery in Trinidad. In America, they say porch. We Jamaicans say veranda. Okay? So anyway, they put it on veranda. And me tell us it's a movie theater. It was a movie theater. Because everybody, the role of the man, them and everybody, Come and them sit down out there and I watch their movie because we was the only one to have a TV at the time. We didn't have a game. My brother will pass away. Rest in peace, my brother. Rest in peace. Him the love game gone to bed. Him the real love game. So he used to get a latest kind of game to come out before they send for him. So the whole I picked them used to full up in our house. They used to full up in our house, then full it up. You see me? So, I might be living at the ghetto. I never yet go to my bed hungry. You understand? Let me tell you how my mother grew up. That's what I say. But you have to get thankful. People always say, I'm going to my life. I don't live above my needs. You see, whatever, whatever, I can't afford for myself, I don't ask somebody to get it for me. If a person want to get it for me, that is different. But I don't go say, oh, I want a Gucci shoes. Yes, I could go and buy it. But why would I go and buy it that when I can't invest in something different? You understand? Just an example. You know, I just use a Gucci shoes as an example. You see me? I'm not going to say, oh babes, you need to get me this hundred and something dollar dress or two hundred and something dollar dress or whatever. When I know deep down for myself, I can't afford it. When I go and make the boy I buy hundred and something dollar dress to me, when I can't afford it for myself. You know, must just me, maybe I can't get me that or I can't get the money and take it, do something constructive. So as me just said that, my mother, if a dumpling and butter with Africa will bed, crushed Irish and butter, we not go to bed hungry. And what my mother teach me is not because if you go to somebody yard and go see them and eat steak. And you come and a dumpling and butter me have to go no. Do not frown. Because see how feed them belly are full? Your belly are full too. You understand? Feed them belly maybe are full. But yours are full to me, but don't eat the same thing. But your belly is getting full also. You see me? When I really reach this far in the video, I'm not subscribed. Why are you really awake, man? No, no, be honest to me. And you don't like the video yet? Please go back and go like the video. You like it? Alright. Come back now. So, the moral of everything when I try to say, be grateful for what you have. You know, give thanks for the good time, give thanks for the bad times. You understand? Because sometimes in our life, God slow we down for reasons. You understand? Sometimes we can't do that, we are go fast, 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 you know. And we were there go fast and everything they go good and everything they go on. And we end up be the one. At the end, fall back. I used to do one that did them move like a snail. And then push up. As we tell you earlier, people support their mouth for me. Come to love dance.
and as me hear dancing and music, girl, run and reach my head top long time. I used to reach for my head top long time. What beat did I get from my mother for coming from my head top? Because my mother never tolerate that. You understand? She never like it. My mother know. You see how people with the absurd thing. If you see my mother out somewhere where music I play, is a dead yard. She not go on none of them kind of something there. No. She was very strict. You understand? So people, just be appreciative. You know, appreciative, be appreciative. Give thanks for good times, give thanks for bad times. Do not put your mouth on others. You understand? Try, if you can push and uplift people, you push and uplift each other. You know? Try, push and uplift each other. You see me? Because a lot of we, we come from some road. Not meaning as in road. It's just a figure of speech. where well, we don't want to go back there. You see me? Me know about ghetto life. And people always say, anything will come from the ghetto. If you come from the ghetto, you not come to nothing good. Listen to me. Listen to me. Nothing no go so. And you have to hold up your head. You see me? I see my late for school already you now. And vice principal at my high school tell me, say, the reason why me late is because I wish part me come from. That that look of ugly mob tell me, say. You understand? And nothing good not come from the ghetto. A principal tell this that. You understand? So when me tell myself, sometimes when I see people glory, but really and truly, when I don't know the story behind it. You understand? When I might see a person live a certain way and thing, and I might say, boy, she go like she hype you see, and she this and she that and she that and she that. You see, when you know where you're coming from, it's easy to know where you are going. You understand? No grudge people, no bad mind a person. You might see a man over here, so you say, oh shit, how oh, the hell me and him at 30 years old, example. And him own a mansion and me still have a rent. Don't bad mind him. Because him maybe go out there and go push and do something where you wouldn't do. You understand? Example. It have some people with a push cart down at the market. And them sell them fruits and things. I know how much thousands of dollars they make. Eagles make. And people will look down on those people. They are entrepreneurs. People will look down on them. What them and make good money. And them invest their money and build them big nice house. And you with them look down on a job there and say, Oh me? Me not do them the job there. You crazy. Then when the man have him big old house, I wonder how comes him get that the house there. Yeah, I wonder how him get that house there. You know, see, nowadays in Jamaica, I be at Gala Iglas, a Igla. Oh, no, realize? Because money depends on them, something there. Same things the people that look down pan. I know everybody go can, can work in a big office. I know all of we go can work in a big office. No. Some of we go can work in a big office, some are we not going to. You understand? Some of we go be able to be police, doctor, lawyers, this, that, 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 that. Some of you are not going to. Even if you are prostitute, and that you got to do to make your money, me now nah look down on you. Because of that you have to do to make your money. You see me? To each his own. A job is there for everybody. Everybody now nah go be rich. Everybody can be on the same level. Because the world now nah go run right. Because if everybody rich, who gonna cut your lawn? You gonna cut it yourself? You're not going to. Nobody now gonna get no housekeeping job. Who gonna clean the house for someone who lazy or lazy? Who gonna clean the phone? Are you gonna do it? No, you are not. So everybody, God never gonna make everybody on the same level. You know? So people, just be grateful. You understand? And just know the Corgodas love each and every one of you guys genuinely.
Oh no, I'm not fear. You see me? I can't pretend. I'm my mind. You know, but that's just who I am. I my mind, I'm done. But more I have to say a big thanks to each and every one who just watched this video. My love, you know. Bye, Magan.